Says you've been focused more on staying out of jail, rap, money, mm. probably not in the streets as much. Have you inspired any of your homies to kind of, you know, maybe stay out of the streets a little bit more and try to do better with themselves? Um, I'm gonna say now, cause the niggas that I'm trying to inspire, they ass, not even trying to inspire, but just trying to get them to open their eyes to visualize the real, what we really need, like the real main goal of this shit. Nah, cause they too hot and they stuck in that, this what we gotta do type shit. Fuck all the other shit. But then most niggas like him right here type shit, he already know, like he got the same mind state. I got this, what the fuck we need to be doing, getting this money and staying out of jail. Whatever we, whatever else we gonna do, that shit gonna do when we, gonna, when we do that shit. It's gonna come, it's gonna come, it's gonna happen, whatever gonna happen. But what we really need to be doing is get some money, staying out of jail. Trying to get to the next level. Cause a motherfucker fuck around, be stuck out here forever. Gotta look over my shoulder, dodge. Motherfucker got kids nowadays, bro. <laughs> I ain't got none, but everybody else. I'm, I'm the last man standing, no kids. These niggas got something to live for now. Not just the gang shit or whatever fuck we got going on before our kids. What do you think the difference in your life is now that you're rapping, you're more popular, especially in Chicago? Mm -hmm. Do people recognize you? Do people come up on you? and? Yeah, see, but like, I was popular in school. I was never no goof ass nigga. I was never no thunky like Clizzy. I was, hey, I've been setting trends my whole life. This is nothing new. I was never Rudy Huxtable. You see what I'm saying? So, but it be, it's just like, you just gotta know how to move. That's how I look at it. Cause it be on them. Everything can seem cool at one moment and just like this, it can be, it can flip and change. So the popular shit like a gift from the curse the way I look at it. Cause you'll never know what some nobody true attention is from females to niggas alike. You see what I'm saying? I believe I seen you post something about Little Pump and Quando Rondo. Nah, that one me, that my brother Young. But I feel the same way. I feel the same way. Whatever he said, I'm backing that shit. I'm for right or wrong. That's mandatory. And they ass. What uh? What all happened with that? I, you know. You know, these rappers be looking up. These rappers be young, first of all. So how I look at it, these rappers be young. So like in like 2012, I was like 18 type shit. So in 2012, these niggas was like 14, not even 14, 12 type shit. You see what I'm saying? So they look up to the, the niggas who are opposite. So whatever the case may be, and whoever they look up to, got them saying they be smoking all day, homie and shit. Like they from the city type shit. So they get on the song and say they smoking too or all that funny type shit or be on live or whatever the case may be. Like they know my man's type shit. And I, I take that very serious type shit because the niggas didn't live. Huh? Niggas live and die about that type of shit. Every day niggas live and die about that type of shit. Nobody's one of my homies or the next man homie. You don't even play like that, especially if you're in front of the city. See what I'm saying? If you're from the city, I wouldn't argue with you. I'll bump, it, I'll bump it to you sooner or later. It's a small city, but you from... California, San Diego, Atlanta, Savannah, um, Thunky Land, wherever you from, where they make this shit, you think this shit cool, that, that shit ain't cool type shit. That's how I be looking at that shit. Yeah, I, I came across a picture of pump, a little pump throwing up rakes. Yeah. Have you guys seen that? You guys seen the picture? Nah, somebody told me about it though. Yeah, I, I you know, I can't understand why he would, uh, you know, get all get all involved in that, and he's basically gang banging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, he said tripping. That's the real term. He said tripping. Yeah, <laughs> they say Cali. He said tripping. He said tripping. Yeah, he acting like he with some shit. He ain't really it. I don't know. I'm a, he fan. He, I look at it. He fans. Everybody be fans. Either you fans of us or you fans of us. You a fan of somebody, but you ain't got to emulate what you see these niggas do. You ain't three years old no more. You see what I'm saying? You're a grown ass man. Be yourself. Be you. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Uh, what's your plans with music? What do you have going on for the future? I'm plans with music. I'm finna keep 10, 2020 up. Um, I just dropped a video like last week called G Lick. I must say it was last week, about a week and a half ago. Um, I got another video coming up soon. I'm finna start dropping R&B songs for they won't just keep me trapped and boxed in this shit. This drill rappers, cause I'm more than that. All of, even niggas from, everybody from the city, everybody talented. You just gotta get these people to open up to it, that's all. So on the up hand, I'm finna drop two mixtapes. I'm finna drop an all auto tone R&B type shit mixtape, then a regular mixtape for how I'm regularly coming type shit. I try to go to the next level, get bigger and better, keep progressing. That's yeah, yeah. Well, what'd you think about uh, uh, Ducks, uh, Chicago Legends? 
Oh, that was, that was a nice song. That was a power move. I, I, I rock with it. Uh, it depends on how you looked at it or how you take it, because everybody take the song a different way. But I rock with it. I just looked at it like he was giving everybody their credit where it's due. Yeah, he shocked a lot of people. A lot yeah. of people were shocked. Yeah. 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 You know, mentioning uh, Fredo in L.A. And yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a, so. It was, it was a dark, I mean, it was a good song, too. Yeah, yeah, nice little song. Nice little song. Power Move, I told you. He's thinking, using his mind. Who's all in FBG? Me, uh, Young, Duck, you got Woosie, Cash, Big now, Lil J. It's a lot of niggas, rappers. There's a lot of rapper niggas. But then, you know, there's niggas on the street. That shit like Wu-Tang Clan. You still got niggas on the streets that's claiming that shit. You know what I'm saying? It's like a cult following type shit. Oh, okay. You uh, you mentioned Little J. Did he is he appealing his case or anything? No, nah, he could, he t he took his time. He copped out. He pleaded guilty. He'll be home in like a year or two, like 21. Yeah, oh, 21. okay. Yeah. And uh, is there is everybody is everything still cool with Little J? Yeah, uh, shit, for the most part, shit, I don't know. I, don't, I ain't really like, when I was in jail, bro, I ain't here for no nigga. You hear me? I ain't here for no nigga. Niggas ain't come see me, none of that type of shit. So in my head, it was always out of sight, out of mind. At least that's the shit I learned from jail. That's the reason why I don't want to go to jail. Cause I'm no man bitch by myself or nobody. See what I'm saying? But when I do talk to the nigga, it be seem like everything cool. Like I talked to his dad probably like six months ago or some shit like that. Probably like four, five. What's, what month is this? February. I talked to his ass October. Oh, okay. I talked to his in October. A few months ago. Yeah. Yeah. How's he doing? He say he doing good. He say he doing good. I don't know. But say he locked up my other man's cash. You know, cash for FBG. He locked up with cash. Cash say he cool. He also funny shit, but he cool. Some little zesty type shit, man. <laughs> Nigga cool. Um, so they're locked up together. Yeah. Ain't like the um. They in the same prison. They ain't on the same deck, but they in the same facility. Oh, so okay. they be running to each other, bumping heads. 